What's going on guys, Michael from GPRisers.com and today we are finally gonna build out our Octaminer heat box. So what we did over here is we took two of the racks out, moved it outward uh, towards us over here, and now we're gonna build out a frame right behind the rack and the idea with that is to capture all of the heat that comes out of these Octaminers into a box right behind there, vent it up and vent it right out of the back of the bunker. So the electrician will be coming uh, hopefully next week. We're gonna have uh, three 30 amps put in right over there in the corner to power the three PDUs that are under there right now. And so we should have about 15,000 watts of power that we can run through this. But the problems that are gonna come from this are likely with the air conditioning here. Um, the CFM on these Octaminers are quite high. I believe each fan is around 240, but there are variable uh, fans, so we can change the speed. But we're gonna have to figure that out as we go. Uh, we are in sunny South Florida here, so it's getting hot and we need to do something. But that said, we're gonna go ahead and start framing this out and getting it ready. And I'll make sure to take videos uh, as we progress through this project. But we're gonna go ahead and get started. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back. We have the plywood cut out for this right here. Uh, this is where the Octaminers will be vertical. And of course, this frame does have holes in it. You can see on the back side there. So we used um, some duct work tape or some ducting tape uh, to keep those holes and make this as airtight as possible. So no heat escapes from it. We do have the top one right up here as well. Uh, we might screw that onto the frame. We're not 100% sure. And so what we're doing now is we're going to be making side panels that go from the top right up here all the way down to right here. Um, then we are going to be making a back panel right here uh, from the back of the Octaminers um, all the way to the floor. And then when it hits the floor, that's when it will be attaching to the heat box that we are building that's gonna be connected actually to the wall. And so right here on the side, you'll see it in uh, one of the upcoming clips is going to be a little square or rectangle, almost like an outlet where we're able to, you know, pull out the power cords from the Octaminers um, out through the heat box and into the PDU. So that said, we're gonna go get back to cutting um, some more of this plywood would um, get it ready onto this frame and we are kind of excited this is turning out a lot better than we uh, originally expected it to and the x12 fits in here very snug uh, we're not going to really have to you know add anything on top there's probably about a quarter of an inch actually and it does bow a little bit now since this does bow the x12 cannot be pushed up right against this side here but we are going to be making boards that cover the rest of the areas that's not filled with octaminers and we are going to be putting some x8 plus cases in here eventually so it will be a little wonky but um, we will make it work but that said guys let me go ahead cut some more wood and we'll be back in a second all right guys we are back we have the sides on we we didn't cut the holes yet for the power cords, but we are going to do that last. Now back behind here, we are framing this out and we're actually gonna screw this on the ground, screw that on the wall, and then we'll be able to screw on plywood onto the side of it. Now we got the back on right here. Uh, this is all airtight, hopefully. Um, and then we'll be able to add the frame over there uh, on that side and add the same exact thing on this side and then right Above on the top, we're going to add another one that connects right up here to the wall. And then we'll be able to vent the air straight out uh, through the drop ceiling. Now you can see we have the back framed out here. We did get these screwed into the wall and into the ground. We have a support beam here. We are going to be adding another one right in the middle because in the back here, we are going to have an eight inch uh, exhaust fan going out of it. Well, we're not gonna have a fan right on it. We probably are gonna have it at the end where it connects the wall up. You can't see it there, but you'll see it a little bit later. So all under there on the bottom will just be for storage and stuff, you know, and things related to the Octaminers. Uh, none of that's going to be, you know, connected to the box behind it. So all of that's fine down there. We will probably add a little bit of the ducting tape on the bottom there, do some final touches on it. Uh, but for today, uh, we are going to cut the video here. Uh, you know, it's getting late at the bunker. But in the next video, you guys will see the frame on the back end, and then hopefully we'll have some ducting going on, but that's probably gonna be in a later video. This is gonna be a multi-video kind of, you know, project. And we do have to figure out how we're gonna vent this properly out. Uh, but again, that's for another time. Uh, but that's gonna be everything, guys, for this video. I hope everyone watching this has a great rest of their day, and we'll see you guys next time.